Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Christian videos. Thank you very much. we celebrate his attributes his attributes like his holiness none can compare to this great God he by himself is holy he doesn't need purification to be holy he by himself in and of himself he is holy so the songwriter will say holy are you Lord all creation, call you God. in your worship and so you look at his attributes he is holy he is great also not saying won't you know yes you also not saying you see how the thing is doing you so the Christian must not come before God in worship empty can I say that again? Yeah. You don't have to come before God empty. Sometimes when we invite the worship leaders, come and lead us in worship, you realize that you don't get here before you spark the worship. You must have sparked it somewhere in your home. Three months, one month ago when you heard that you were the one going to lead worship. And similarly for all of us as church members, as a congregation, we don't come to church expecting that somebody will do it and then we follow. You must have sparked the revival at home. So even in your car, while coming, you are saying that God, you are great. God, you are holy. God, you are awesome. God, you are magnificent. God, you are excellent. Are you here? So it must burst out in you. It must bubble within you. The attributes of God. His power. A songwriter said, Power belongs to you, O Lord. Power belongs to you. Among the gods, there is none like you. Power belongs to you. So you see, you are thinking about what God is made of. His goodness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The songwriter will say, Because he's good and his mercies. Because he's good. 
His truth, he is exalted, the king is exalted on high. I will praise Come on, everyone say, He is exalted, the king is exalted. Hey, everybody. focus so that when you are coming before God you have a multitude of things about him that can spark the worship inside of you forever his truth shall reign forever his truth shall reign they say truth now is relative but God being truth is absolute are you here so when you are singing about his truth, there is no relativity. There is no middle ground. And so when you say, God, you are truth, it must be a revelation on the inside that is sparking out on your lips and saying that, will no parry dear it's him or die. His omnipotence. to me sing Obiara. His omniscience, his omnipresence. The songwriter will say, Immortal, invisible God, only wise, in light, inaccessible. Who can compare to this God? So you see, you should not come before God and say that, I, I, I don't have words to. Yes, of course, at a point, you may be lost. But man can say, me ni, me America, I don't know what I, I should say about my God. Even those who worship Kwekufri, when they go before him, they have words to describe him. We are in a sentiment. Have you ever seen people go before Nana before? There are so many of them on YouTube. Then they'll say, Piao. Yo. What's it saying? Hey. Zio. And not you. Kabata, see, bro, When we come before God, his appellations must burst out of us. I will say a beautiful woman. Let me talk about excellence. Excellence. Have you seen how when they are referring to the president of the land, his excellency Yasho Muti? So huge. His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. His Excellency Nana Adotangwa Akufo Adotunso Tuhono Onyonyi. When we come before God, we must make him feel big. 
bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you are bigger than what people say. Bigger than what people say. Jehovah, you are bigger than what people say. You are bigger. You are stronger. Bigger than what people say. You see, worship must not be a cliche. Worship must not get to the point where it becomes a cliche. Ya ya afe ya bread. So when we come to church, and especially in the PIWTs, we say we lack English songs. So you, are, you realize that arise, 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 ya twa bread. The glory, hey, hey, the glory, every Sunday. It has become a cliche. But you see, when we come before the King of Kings, worship must be refreshing every day. Every day. And I speak to the minstrels here. That every time that we stand before God's people and lead them, it must not remind them of yesterday. Ah, and now you're buying, and we are now to you. Even if you are singing the same song, there should be something refreshing about it. Something refreshing about it. It must not be a cliche. In worship, we come before Him with our all. Everything inside of us. So that you don't care about your makeup. Sometimes, when we come, human beings, we are funny. You. Today I was sitting down there and I looked at my trouser and I realized that construction dust. I can't walk on tonight. Somebody say mercy. Somebody say mercy. But I'm not alone. Oh, I know. I know I'm not alone. In a sense that, you see, sometimes when we come before God and you are in worship and sometimes the tear is dropping, the first thing that up, comes to your mind is that, hey, me make up, no. My makeup. My makeup. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 7, the Bible says that a certain woman came to Jesus. When Jesus was with the disciples, and the Bible says that she broke her alabaster box full of oil. And then one disciple said that, ah, we are it. This thing can be sold. So that we give it to the needy. no Judas. So you see, sometimes the people we come to church with, or to one change in worship, oh, sir, they are no wolf, but what kind of one you know, it's almost open. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, oh, one hour, sorry, them. But when it is a revelation which is on the inside, you don't care about your makeup, you don't care about your shirt, you don't care about your shoe, you don't care about your perfume, you just give it all to Jesus. I am trusting God that we will have this revelation so that when we come before God, we come to him with everything that is about us and we present it to him. Hallelujah. Amen. You can tell that Miriam and Moses' worship was born out of revelation. Today, there is so much copying in the church. Worship must not be an act of copying. Yesterday, when Archie came, he did it this way. So, me too, let me use the same repertoire. <laughs> Our worship must be authentic. Not fake. Apostle Professor Opoko Nina calls it the orgies of the facade. Today, because we have cameras around, when we go for worship services, the moment the guy sees that the camera is coming close to him, because on him see a picture, he was in the spirit. In worship, 
Because the center of the worship is God, you cannot deceive anybody. Because the worship is not unto your neighbor. It is unto God. So when the cameras are coming and you are faking it, as for me, I will think that the spirit has come. But the one who receives the worship, only the way who know. Sometimes, we are also tempted to think that in worship, when I cry, when I fall, that is when I have worshipped. The worship is not necessarily in your tears. As I said, it must be born out of revelation, which is on the inside. So when you are doing it, you write that, ah, Brothers and sisters, worship is about celebrating the attributes of God. We come to Him and empty ourselves to Him. Give Him all the glory. Say that, Lord, you are more powerful. You are good. Your truth shall reign forever. You are omnipotent. You are great. You are holy. Tonight, as we rise to our feet, let the attributes of God burst out inside of you. Come on, wherever you are. We are telling God that he is God. All by himself. He is awesome in worship. He is highly exalted. He is the one who sits high on the throne. The angels bow down and say, Holy, holy, holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? The earth is filled with your glory. This evening, somebody out of revelation. Out of revelation. Let worship burst out of you. Come on. Come on without a song. Without a song. Let worship rise up to God. Let a sweet smelling fragrance unto Jesus. Come on to Jesus. You are holy, my Lord. We are grown, grown. You are holy, my Lord. You are holy, my Lord. You are holy, my Lord. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. Come on, Sevaro, Stevali, Padese, Hata. If you feel like going on your knees, you are before King Jesus. If you feel like sitting down before him, you are before him. Shout him the name. We are here. You are Lord. We are real. We are a hini mu hini. We are a real mu every day. Nyan sabuwa kwa nyan kupa on the boat. Obini wa ni wachawa hini ye. You are incomparable. You are the beauty. Inus te vihali faste kayende basha. Come on, let it burst down. Let it burst down. Without a song, without a song. Lift up worship to Jesus. Lift up worship to Jesus. Hey. Masanda basi ande ramasta. Imale mele basi anda na baba baba no ante. Rama mama masi mele mele basi taya na la baba. Imalos te malas tiviosa. Revelation. Let it burst out of you. Masende le 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 basanda ba 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 rosta ya. Imala ba 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 sune. Hey Jesus. Maroste bahanda ba 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 ba. Maroste kete bana. Come on, ask for praise to His name. Tell Him He's all powerful. Among the gods, there is none like Him. He is the most excellent God, the invincible God. 
the only wise God. Hey, Rostabari Base Rote Nadababande.
exalted. The King is exalted on high. Ha. I will praise Him. Come on, everybody. He is exalted. And so the songwriter will say, Monto Yehovah Queen, Ponyo, Sena, Nyonya, Ema, Nana, Sanata. Monto Yehovah Queen, Ponyo, Monto
aucun bourgeois bois à nos coups. Na odi bon siemia e hodo. Ni nyansa mu ni chefe bia. Adiani ade batoto ne ho.
or say, Mamma Grant, and I say, Nothing you are yet. Nothing can war one party, you know. Enter it. May I be a carrier of the testimony of the salvation of Jehovah. This week, if we don't have anything to say, our testimony is that Jehovah Jemkwa, Jehovah Jemkwa, Jesus saves, He saves, He saves. Mame grant na sini wanya na me kawo kwachi. Give me the third verse. Ore ma wona i wachi. Hey, ni a osha wo oso.
Worship is from within. When it is born out of revelation, you don't get tired. But for time, today, we could worship even until tomorrow. Because it's springing out from within. On the throne, they say, Mami mu adinina. And show
say, no more one can see the abo. Man say, one can see the abo. 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 in the house.